friends, how are you? We are about to dive into episode six of One Punch Man titled The Terrifying City. I've been doing a lot of voices lately and I don't know why. <laughs> um, really, really excited for this episode. So our dear Saitama is finally um, a professional hero. According to the description, a week after he's been a professional hero, he hasn't done anything productive in heroics. And he learns from Genesis that if he doesn't do anything, he'll be dropped from the registry. F because he's a classy hero. So it seems like classy is the lowest, which makes sense because a C is a passing grade, even a C minus. Anything lower than that is not a passing grade. Even though some people were like, they're like, oh, what about these? No. Um, right now my uh, Wi-Fi is being a little weird, but we'll we'll survive. Anyway. Very excited for this episode. Last episode, again, Genos and Saitama took the, um, the test. Of course, Genos, like, knocked it out of the park. A hunter across the board, and of course, his power. They think he's super powerful. And just his abilities place, makes him a class S, which is super high class. He gets kind of initiated in a soft, weird way um, by one of the class S heroes, who's, I, I guess, I have no idea what um, he's capable of doing, so that's going to be interesting. Of course, Saitama knocked the physical out of the park, but his exam sucked eggs, which I, is unsurprising um, that he wouldn't be that great at taking it. Um, like I said before, Genesis is definitely a lawful good. He's kind of like the hero you would expect anyone to be in terms of a t you know, tragic backstory and you know fighting for something that's supposed to be good. And I'm still holding on to my theory that Genesis was actually the one that killed his family, but he doesn't realize it. Who knows? Anyway... I am excited about this episode. Oh, and then we learned, of course, terrible, terrible information about Saitama. The man's an ice cruncher. Okay, did you miss the part where he was chewing the ice? What's wrong with him? You don't crunch ice? What the heck? <laughs> anyway, that's besides the point. We're going to see Saitama, see if he'll actually step up and, and be the hero he's supposed to be. And maybe learn how to prolong his fights, since all he has to do is... And people are gone. Um, of course, the only one who really knows even the potential of what Saitama can do is Genos. But again, and the reason that, you know, the group that's keeping an eye on Genos and put him in S, Class S, is also keeping an eye on Saitama, um, who has not earned the name of uh, a hero name yet. They're, gonna just, they're just Genos and Saitama. They have to earn the name of the hero or they have to be given one by the fans. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. Reminder for those of you who are following along via um, YouTube that um, I have learned to not do pauses. Sometimes it's really harsh. Sometimes, sometimes I'm just like, oh, I want to pause, but I stop myself. I talk, but One Punch Man, like some enemies, has a halfway point or a commercial break. So I tend to pause during that time, but I'm really good at not pausing anymore now that I, now it's a straight through reaction. Um... For those of you who have to follow along via YouTube, again, you can just hit play. Uh, there will be a countdown timer. Um, no beep, beep, beep. But there will be a countdown timer to help you figure out when the heck I'm pressing the play button. Pressing play. Nope, not pressing play. Re-recording. That's why. <laughs> I'm not pressing play right now. Pressing play in a three, in a two, in a one. He only gets really involved if he needs to. <laughs> I forgot Jenna's moved in. What was he reading?
no. I wonder if he was reading manga. Oh, he found something that he could say to him now. He's that's total BS, isn't it? He I knew what you think. Is he stealing that from the enemy? Oh, that worked. <laughs> he saw it from the anime, uh, the manga he was reading, wasn't it? Found nothing, huh? Of course. Probably because all the other Class C heroes were doing stuff. Day six. Okay. So there is a hyphen between One Punch Man. Cool. But there isn't a hyphen there. Hmm. This uh, discrepancy between spellings is irritating. The intro is hilarious because it's just like all these major events, natural disasters and monsters and how powerful he is. And it's just so funny. Power. And it's probably making it fun of the idea that heroes are lonely and they walk alone. I'm starting to understand the sense of humor of this anime a little better. Like this punches. I love how he jumps, he's like, oh gosh. But it also indicates he's so powerful, he doesn't have much control there, so he's like, oh. I like how Common Rider is going to play a role in this. It's so cute. And I suspect we'll see the um, assassin ninja again. It's so redundant. And of course, we end with him carrying groceries because they're like, wait, what? It's final day. Dude's gonna get arrested for creeping around like a baldy, he is. I was hoping to see him, I knew he was coming back around. Speedo Sound Sonic. I hate his name so much. He's so dismissive of people. It's so funny. Oh, whoa! He saw it coming and he bit his sword. He bit his sword. That's amazing. What's going on here with this idiot? He was going to get in trouble, the dum-dum. Oh, come on.
Oh my gosh. Saitama would not like us at all. They just started, you dum dum. That's such a bad idea. Oh, whoa! Took him down easy. Calm down, sir. You're just too intense. Oh, gosh. He's causing problems around him. Shoot. It's funny, he still thinks that this is not, he's not paying attention at all. Um, oh, now, good. Pay attention, Saitama. You're such an idiot. <laughs> the imposter, he just went karate jump. I guess so. It is called the Terrifying City. Then I guess Z must be the worst town of them all. Oh, oh, she's in the intro. She a class S hero. I'm oh, paying attention. Almost looks like Saitama did before he lost his hair. Ooh. Interesting. She's a bit of a brat, isn't she? I gotta start talking more. Dude looks stressed. Oh, I spill his coffee. Oh, what is that? This... Oh, halfway point? Shut up already? Alright, pausing at 10.08. Um... Gonna pause at 10.08. It's the halfway point. That's what I do. Uh, there's probably a countdown timer for those of you flying around and fo following. Following... Yeah, following along, <laughs> along on YouTube. Um, not much to say. Titama's a dum dum, but he did realize pretty quickly. Oh, a villain! I can stop him, and he did apprehend him, which means he's okay. He's on the registry. Of course, Saitama is just like stop the car because again, that there is that instinct of him to protect, which is nice. Um, because he's not. Like I said he's he's law he's lawful. Or he's good, but I don't know if he's like neutral good or not. Um, he's not neutral neutral. I get a lot of little pundit squared to kind of play along with. Play I say that a lot about the lawfuls and the goods and the chaos and blah 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 blah. If she's good, uh, tornado, we'll see, because she's such a brat. Um, I guess we're kind of reminded that a lot of people who maybe had the title of hero are deserving of it. And that's kind of discussed and kind of played along with in a very serious way um, in My Hero Academia. So obviously when we have people who, um, I had chocolate on my chin, great. When we have people who pass the test for being a hero and they maybe aren't the great personality-wise deserving of it, 
um, that causes some issues, especially when you begin to monetize heroism. Um, just like when you monetize, start monetizing, like the same thing kind of can be applied to YouTube. When people started monetizing and earning money via YouTube, then it was like, oh, shoot. Then you just became, you pretty much you just created just a bunch of narcissistic reality stars. Um, for those who just, uh, it's a lot to comment on, but the point is, not much to say, but uh, at least I think Saitama gets to keep his um, ranking thanks to Sonic, Sound of Sonic, Sound of Speed Sonic, which is again the stupidest name ever. He's an assassin ninja, which is so redundant. Or so it's just like oh gosh. But Saitama is safe, which is great. Pressing play one, three and a two and a one. City A. That's what the Hero Searching Headquarters is. Ooh. Or City Z. Oh, City Q is a hot zone? Is that what he looks like? He's just a big, uh, fluff ball? My goodness, is he a furry? Probably not. <laughs> oh, Saitama calls that issue. So Tatalan travels. Oh yeah, he did. He did travel a little bit everywhere to stop these things. Snick. Oh yeah, there is Claff F. He's still freaked out, poor guy. Interesting. Spring mustachio. Golden ball. You wouldn't think those two should be paired together, but maybe they work well together. Let's we'll see. Someone did clarify this is an alternate world, so it kind of helps me understand it a little better. Probably do. Oh, interesting. <laughs> that looks familiar. I wonder who caused that problem. So this is a part of the city. Is that where Saitama lives? Interesting. Power draws power. Oh yeah, this is near Saitama's house. This is his doing. Yeah, this is Saitama's doing. Saitama was there. I was wondering how he was able to live there, considering he doesn't really work. 
He's cleaning his apartment. Let's see some seaweed girl? Monster? Looks a little bit like a Pokemon. Woo! That's, oh, that's nasty. Ooh, she's got some spunk to her. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Forgot about that. Slide of hand, not bad. Master Swordsman, pretty cool. What is the sound he's making? He sounds like a dog. He's impressive, actually. I like him. Oh, that's a special kind of sword. She's fast, though. Seaweed, really? Poor golden ball. He has a memorized good boy. I'm not even reacting. I'm sorry. Ooh, she is crazy. Hmm. I, uh, I have not been reacting at all. I've been just watching. I'm just like... <sighs> well, he's not dead. That's good. Rank 33. Spring Masashi. Hmm. So under... Is under C F or F is higher than C? I'm confused. I like seeing all these multiple heroes and villains. Oh, <gasps> dude got the crap kicked out of him like that. Well, I'm sure he, he's probably been fighting for a little while. Poor guy. She just wants to be well known. Of course she does. Is that Saitama coming home? The groceries? Yep. It's probably really cheap to live there, or nowhere at all, because no one lives there. It's abandoned. Don't make him drop his groceries. Be. He's so sensitive about his hair. 
so he just ripped that monster apart and just took the seaweed. Nope. Oh man, now all these people are gonna be like flocking towards where uh, Saitama lives. It's not a monster. It's Saitama. It's probably some class seven team. She's she's getting it ready for it. Oh, they think that's a monster. They don't really need a Saitama. I love the fact they think it's a monster with Saitama. Oh, he, so he did that, he just went BOOM! Of course, he doesn't have to worry about people because no one lives in that part of the city anymore. Oh wow, I got so caught up in watching, I just was not really thinking about it. Oh my gosh, this is just causing some stuff. Saitama's freaking fault. Dum dum. Oh, and this outro. I don't even know if I reacted much. I feel like it's so much about I was just watching. Um, One Punch Man and Diamond Lamb Saga have the sweetest, nicest outros outside of Laidback at Camp ever. That's so freaking hilarious. I love that they all think it's a monster into Saitama. <laughs> Eventually they'll realize that. But that's freaking hilarious. And of course, only Genos knows the truth. Um, but now I understand a little bit of why Saitama kind of unleashes the way he does in that area. He's the only one who lives there. Also, it answered my question of, like, how is Saitama affording living there? He, he just... What does he do for a living? Like, he can be able to buy groceries. He's just living there. Um, there's actually water, so he has no reason to move. And of course, him being as powerful as he is, he has no reason to be afraid. So, over the course of 10 years, and I guess, is that how long he's been active? I can't remember. But power attracts power. So, again, you hear these rumors of these powerful things, and they kept heading to that part of the city because of Saitama. Saitama would just knock him out. And then rumor upon rumor. So now they think this is a really powerful monster lives there. <laughs> it's just Saitama. Oh. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's great. Saitama. Of course he does. He drinking kombucha? No, no, matcha. Oh, you know who reminds me of? Todoroki from My Hero. A cyborg prince. Oh, they've already eaten all the seaweed. Blizzard. The ultimate disciple. Which means you're probably a little bit of, uh, 
her. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. <laughs> so we're just going to focus on Jenna's, which is totally cool. Okay. Um, so again, I love the fact <laughs> that Saitama is causing so many problems. <laughs> Like he 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 fights them so quickly and then he moves on so fast that these big fights against these monsters, um, they don't know. Even though he's been doing this for a while, they don't know it's him. Because for one, he doesn't stick around. He doesn't have a presence, and so all these big monsters he's fought and like taken out like that, um, they uh, they they don't know what's going on. And because he punches them, they they're obliterated. There's nothing left of them. It's so freaking nuts. But, dang, it's so funny. But I love the fact because of Saitama's presence, again, great power attracting great power, all these monsters have come into the area, which have led people to just leave. And, of course, that makes rent... I don't even know. He probably doesn't have to pay rent anymore um, at all. And, oh, it's so funny. And I love the fact that it's just like he literally just obliterated a building to knock her out like that. And, of course, they're just like, oh, my gosh. And they think it's a monster. They're like, what kind of monster does this? And again, we're just reminded of just how powerful Saitama is. And he's aware of it, but he's also kind of not. <laughs> um, Genos is very aware of it, and he's trying to study him the best way he can. And Saitama is BSing it, trying to be the master, because he realizes he has nothing really to teach Genos. And it's funny, Genos signing up and doing that because it doesn't matter to him but he's like okay if you're going to do it i will do it as well and so you just get to really enjoy how serious Genos is and again he's very Todoroki like um he reminds me of Todoroki a little bit um but i just i really love just the goofiness of Saitama and how he thinks and approaches things and how things just don't scare him because he's just so flame and powerful and then most people don't even know how powerful he is. Because again, he he fulfilled those machines, but we, we you see all from the footage for the test, the dude was holding back, obviously, during those times. But he blew past all of their their tests. Like easy peasy. Um and so Ooh, sorry. But we know for a fact, just from seeing what he's capable of, that during the test, the dude held back a lot. <laughs> and so, and it's funny, the damage they saw to the House of Evolution, they thought Genesis caused it. And again, I don't know why he said it was him, unless it was his way of, I think he was, I think he was thinking of, it was his way of protecting Saitama. Why he would think he would need to, I don't know. But we know for a fact Saitama calls that, and he's just so freaking powerful. But only Genos really knows that, and the House of Evolution knows that. And um, obviously, uh, Hammerhead, who's a doorman now, he's a little patch on the back of his head, um, is kind of aware of that. And of course, Sound of Sonic, Sound of Speed Sonic, stupidest name in the world, um, knows his powers as well. Maybe it sounds cooler in, in Japanese, I don't know. But. They have, those two have a kind of a taste of what he's capable of, but only Genos really knows and has seen, especially in the House of Evolution, the guy has really seen what Saitama can do. And obviously we're going to have Tornado's going to make more of an appearance, uh, Blizzard from Hell, which is very interesting, and name will be making her appearance in episode 8, not episode 7. But the ultimate disciple definitely, we're going to, oh sorry, we're definitely going to get some information about, um, Genos and kind of see his growth a little bit as a class S hero. But I am really excited to kind of to see <laughs> how this uh, situation will unfold learning about what um, that basically how the situation will unfold with this whole monster thing even though again we all know for a fact it's Saitama. And considering that Genos cleaned everything up in the area he kind of removed evidence of the fight in front of that apartment and which kind of also still sort of protects Saitama in a way but it's very fascinating um again very funny little humor not as graphic as it usually is but definitely little some dark humor for sure but we got to see 
I wish I could pause a bit more because sometimes I just need to pause and kind of look at something and wrap my head around it. It's hard for me to talk and watch at the same time. Even though I used to do that, it's it's really weird how I used to do something a certain way and then I started pausing because it made things easier and then I have to like stop pausing for anime. It's really weird how I kind of have to relearn certain things or unlearn certain things. Oh, sorry. It's late. All right. That's all I've really got to say. It's, again, fun enemy. I'm glad I started reacting to it. My brother um, has been a fan of it for a long time, and I'm finally watching it, which is pretty cool. And like I said, unfortunately, for some reason, odd uh, reason, uh, season two of One Punch Man uh, is not on Crunchyroll. It's, I'm not, it's all available to me, but I know where I can watch it, so I'll be definitely watching season two. Don't worry about that. Um, in terms of other animes, again, don't forget Zombieland Saga for Anime Thursday has already started. And if you have any recommendations for animes, not only on Crunchyroll, but also maybe on Funimation, maybe, or somewhere else that I could react to. And then I have, uh, I'm thinking of maybe after, um, One Punch Man, there is an anime. It's actually not really a Crunchyroll anime. It's, or it's more of a cartoon, but an anime style. Hopefully, maybe, um, I might react to that just because I'm interested in the lore and the storyline sounds really cool, but we'll see about that. Um, don't know if I'll do JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, I, I would like to do that eventually, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. I don't think I'm, I don't think it really follows my trajectory in terms of anime, but again, I will be eventually looking for an anime to watch after One Punch Man. I finished season two, but of course we're not even there yet, so let's not worry about it until we get into season two. So I don't much else to say. Again, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your enemies, and I'll see you next time.